to show you how to create a sales page in WordPress. Uh, I like to use WordPress for all my sites now because it's so easy to use. I don't have to deal with a lot of uh, HTML and I can create these pages really fast. What you do need is a sales page template. Uh, I use templates from sales pages at WordPresswebPro.com. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is once you download the uh, sales page uh, template, you're going to have to upload it via an FTP program. I use the free program FileZilla. Uh, you're going to go into your WordPress uh, installation. You're going to go to the WordPress content folder. You're going to go to the WordPress theme folder. You're going to see probably a couple of themes on your website if you've been using it. Uh, I pick the theme that I'm currently using and I'm going to drag the two it's a file and a folder into my current theme so I'm going to have the theme plus the addition of this file and folder once I've done that I can log out and I'm going to go into the WordPress admin panel I'm going to click add new for uh, a new page uh, you can't use posts, you have to use pages. In the title bar, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a keyword. Okay, you don't, you don't put a title, just your, your keyword. So if it's uh, how to lose weight, it's your keyword, you're going to put your keyword how do you lose weight up there. Okay, once you've done that, you're going to need a sales copy. I've actually created the sales copy already it in like a uh, notepad or some other uh, program and just copy and paste. Okay. Once you've done that, you're going to have a visual editor in WordPress. Now when you first uh, log into WordPress, this is the way you see the visual editor. On the right side, it's Show Hot Kitchen Sink. Just click that button and you're going to have a lot more buttons to play with. Uh, I like it because I can uh, highlight text uh, with different colors. I can make things bold. Uh, I have the use the paragraph uh, uh, heading tags. Uh, I've created it in this theme the heading six, which is important because that makes a subheadline. This is a subheadline, and to create that, you use heading six, which is all scrolled to the bottom. Okay. Once you uh, heading six what this is going to do is going to create a nice subheadline it'll be in a color depending on the theme it could be red or a nice blue uh, again it depends on the theme okay also what you're going to want to do is if you need uh, uh, testimonials or you want to highlight some uh, some important sentences in a box. What I do is I use the block quote and you're going to get a nice testimonial box. So you just cl click the button, you highlight the sentence, click the button, you have a nice testimonial box. Okay, to, this is going to be uh, an unordered list and basically you just create a few lines, you click the unordered list button, have an unordered list. Normally in WordPress you're going to have little circles in front. The sales page template is going to put check marks in place of these circles. Now you're, you're going to need a headline. Uh, what this template uses, it uses custom fields. In the custom fields you're going to have a name and you're going to have a value. In the name box you're going to type headline. Then you're going to write whatever headline you want. We put this as a headline. Now you can have a, a headline above your main headline and a headline below your main headline. The headline above is called prehead. Okay, type this as prehead, whatever you want. The headline below it, I call post head, and you can put another headline. You do not need to use all the headlines. You can mix and match. You can decide which one. You Want, but you really do need a, a main headline. So this is important. 
this should be in every sales page. Once you've done that, you're going to go to attributes, you're going to go to template, and initially it's going to be on default template. What you're going to do is choose the template you've downloaded, you're going to highlight it, and once you've done that, you click update page. Once the page has been updated or published, then you're going to click Preview Changes. And this is what your uh, sales page will look like. And just to go through it, okay, on this one, uh, this is your headline. This is your pre-header. This is your post-headline. Again, you can use these or, or not use those. They're totally up to you. This is your sub-headline. That's that H6 tag. Again, this is another sub-headline. This is that H6 tag. This is your block quote box. Okay. And then this is your ordered, unordered list with your check marks. Finally, you just put a buy button in there, uh, which will go to your uh, either shopping cart or your affiliate link, and you have a nice uh, shopping uh, sales page. Uh, otherwise, uh, uh, it's very easy to do. When if you scroll to the bottom, you want to see what the regular site looks like, this is the blog. Okay. So this is the blog and this is the sales page on your blog. Alright, so thank you for watching my brief